This is part three of my Urban Bug Out Bag video series. If you haven't seen parts one and two, make sure you go back and watch those ones before watching this one. It'll help this make a little bit more sense. So for this final part in the video series, we're going to go through the three remaining compartment areas of the Urban Bug Out Bag. And those are the food compartment, the medical compartment, and the clothing compartment. So let's get started. This is my food compartment. I use the Granite Gear 16 liter air zip sack for containing all the food items. It has these nice little straps on the side here and it's a very lightweight uh, storage bag. So let's open it up and show you all the items that I include. Here are all the items that I carry in my food compartment. As you see on the outside here, I have eight of these Mountain House Pro Pack meals. And I decided to go with this route versus something like uh, MREs for morale purposes. These are very common uh, with camping and I thought it'd be a better for morale just to be eating these versus eating MREs, which I don't enjoy eating. So I have eight of these. Let's go through the stuff that's on the inside here. I have a little tuna pouch. I have two of these Idaho loaded baked potatoes. The problem with uh, my food compartment is that a lot of it's dehydrated, but it also helps with my weight purposes as well. So moving on, I decided to carry a full container. This is a plastic bottle of olive oil. This olive oil has a ton of calories in it. So I want to add it to each, whenever I'm cooking a meal, it's basically like adding about 125 calories to your meal with just one ounce. Next I have five Snickers bars. I also have five of the Soldier Fuel Energy Bars. One Spam Single Classic pouch. I have two of these pouches of the Ova Easy Hearty Wholesome Eggs, which are very good. Four packets of Pedialyte, which is a great, uh, you know, hydrator for you, electrolyte powder. Then also I have a little five hour energy drink as well as a little container of Maker's Mark Whiskey. And those are all the items that I carry in my food compartment. Here is the medical compartment of my Urban Bug Out Bag. I use the Maxpedition Fight Medical Pouch. It's a nice little pouch that gives me a lot of different options for my medical needs. And this thing weighs in, it's a little bit heavy, it weighs right in around 2 pounds 11 ounces. As you see here. So I have some Blackhawk speed clips in the back just in case I decide to store this on the outer portion of the backpack on the Molly webbing. But for right now it's stored mainly in the inner portion of the backpack. So this is divided into four different sections. I have a tool section on the top here. The next section I have, this is my pharmacy section. And then when you open it up, I have a first aid section and a trauma section. So let's break this little segment up into multiple videos and we'll go through all these different sections of the medical compartment. Let's start off first with the tools section. So that's located right on the top here. I just have a few little tools and I'll go through all this now. So in this little baggie here, I have it labeled with a little medical <laughs> decal. I have some safety pins, a razor blade, this is a surgical blade, and then also a Fresno lens here in the back. Next, I have, let's see, get everything out of here. This is just a little liquid syringe. And the next tools I have, these are some little mini Fisker scissors. These are a nice little pair of scissors. Uh, it's meant for clothing, so for cutting off any kind of clothes if I need to. And then lastly for the tools, I have two sets of tweezers. I have a little needle nose and then a standard tweezer. So a little pair here. And those are all the tools that I carry for my medical compartment. Moving on to the pharmacy section. Have it in a little storage bag here, labeled pharmacy. Also with a medical decal. I, what I'm gonna do is just take all these out, spread them on the table and show you what I have. Here are all the medications I include in the pharmacy section of my medical compartment. Just so you know, I don't carry any of my prescription medications, such as blood pressure medications or antibiotics uh, in this particular section. I'm going to have those in an add-on module that I'll be adding on to my bug out bag. And I'll talk about that in a video outside of this video series. So the majority of these items are painkillers. I have some Motrin, some Tylenol, extra strength. By the way, I have around 20 of each of these kind of painkillers. For anti-diarrhea, I have Imodium AD. Aspirin, I have some Bayer Aspirin, some Advil for Ibuprofen. 
I have 10 of these L-lysine pills, and these are for cold sores that I sometimes get. And then for uh, allergy, I have 12 Benadryl tablets. And those are all the medications I carry in the pharmacy section. Let's move forward with the first aid items that I carry in this medical compartment, and I'll also include the little ace bandage that's located here in the spine of the medical compartment. So I'm going to take all these, put them on the table, and we'll go over them. Let's go through all the general first aid items, and we'll move from left to right. So over here I have an ace bandage. I have about 20 of these BD alcohol swabs. I also have a variety of different size band-aids, so some smaller band-aids and larger ones. Here's some Benadryl Ready Mist Itch Stopping Spray. I have some burn gel. Here's a pair of black nitrile examination gloves. Moving down to the bottom here, I have a tube of Neosporin. And I also have some backup uh, triple antibiotic ointment, individual packets of it. Uh, vacuum sealed here, I have some surgical sponges. I have some Gorilla Glue. Next, I have some Dr. Scholl's Mole Foam Padding. Here's some uh, Petrolatame gauze, Johnson & Johnson triple layer nonstick pads. I'm not going to go through all the items in here. This is my dental module, so I have a, a variety of different things for you know controlling a toothache. So an applicator, some tooth saver, cotton swabs, temporary filling material, toothache medication. Uh, you can buy these generally in a, a, in a kit. I also have some xylactin in there as well. So that's the dental module. I have some medical tape. And then lastly, I have just a couple straws, because when you're sick, oftentimes you want to drink out of a straw. So those are the, por the portion of the first aid items of Bug Up Bag. Let's move on to the trauma section of the medical compartment. So all of the items in here are meant for larger medical emergencies. Here are all the items in the trauma section of the medical compartment. Starting off, I have an Israeli bandage. This is a non-sterile triangular bandage some rolled gauze, vacuum sealed, to help save on space. I also have this little CPR face shield. Here's an ABD pad. Some quick clot. Black nitrile examination gloves. Ammonia inhalants. This is a SWAT a tourniquet, tactical tourniquet. Then lastly, just a little medical mask. And those are all of the items that I carry in my bug out bag medical compartment. Let's go through the items in my clothing compartment. Now in addition to this compartment which I store inside the bug out bag, I also have some bug out loadout clothes which I have hung up and stored next to the bug out bag when it's in its permanent storage location. So let's open this item up first and go through the items that are included with the bug out bag. The first item from my clothing compartment is one black bandana. And as a lot of you know, you could get a lot of uses out of a single bandana. Next, I have a pair of these Ex Officio Give and Go Boxer Briefs. If you could only wear one pair of underwear, this is a great one to choose. The next items to show are some long underwear, and these are made by REI. These are the REI Lightweight Polar Tech Powder Dry Long Underwear. I have the bottoms and the top. The next item to show, this is made by Smart Wool. This is the Smart Wool Balaclava. It's extremely lightweight, collapsible, and very warm. So Smart Wool Balaclava, also made by Smart Wool. I have some Smart Wool Lightweight Hiking Socks. Next, made by Sea to Summit. This is the Sea to Summit Insect Shield. So it's a head net that I could wear while I'm sleeping or if I'm walking and there happens to be a lot of insects. So I'm keeping that in the clothing compartment. The next item to show is made by Mountain Hardware. This is the Mountain Hardware Dome Paragnon Hat. You've seen this one before in some of my other videos, and I wanted to include it in my bug out bag as well. So this is an extremely warm hat. It does collect some lint, uh, but if you want to keep your head warm, this is a great one to choose. So I have a few of these, and they're awesome little hats. Uh, the next item to show is for some rain protection. This is made by Marmot. This is the Marmot Super Mica Rain Jacket. It's an awesome rain jacket. It's very, very lightweight and collapsible. And the last item to show you is also made by REI. This is the REI Revel Cloud Vest. So I wanted to have a layer of, of insulation included with my clothing compartment. And those are all the items from my clothing compartment. 
In addition to the items that I carry in my actual clothing compartment, I also wanted to have a special pair of clothes called my bug out loadout clothes, which I'd be putting on first before actually putting on my bug out bag. And those items would complement some of the items that I carry in my clothing compartment. So in case of an emergency, I would be putting on the bug out loadout clothes first before putting on the bug out bag. So they need to be stored right next to the bug out bag and I'm going to have mine on a hanger. So let me show you the items that I carry for my bug out loadout clothes. First item to show is made by REI. These are the REI Sahara convertible pants. It's a great little set of hiking pants. The next item to show is the most expensive t-shirt I've ever purchased. <laughs> and this is made by Smart Wool. This is the Smart Wool NTS Microweight t-shirt. Costs around $80, but it's a great t-shirt. It's good for hot weather, it's good for cold weather, it's good for sweat, it's never going to smell on you, it's lightweight, it dries fast, it's basically perfect. The only problem is it's expensive. So if I could afford it, I'd have a whole bunch of these. But I have just one for my bug out loadout clothes. Next item to show is one red bandana. And I would have this bandana stored in the back pocket of the Sahara convertible pants. So as soon as I put on the pants, I'll also have the bandana with me. Next item to show, this is made by Smart Wool. These are the Smart Wool arm warmers. And instead of having a long sleeve shirt, I wanted to have, to have something that was better on space. So I have each one of these Smart Wool arm warmers inside of the side pockets of the Sahara pants. So again, as soon as I put on the pants, I have not only the bandana, but also these arm warmers. Next item to show is some work gloves. These are the custom Leathercraft Handyman Flex Grip Work Gloves. I, I really like these. I've used them a lot. And uh, they're just you know, a great little set of work gloves to protect my hands. The next item to show is made by Blackhawk. These are the Blackhawk Advanced Tactical Knee Pads. And I've done a product review of them. They're really great. I, I like having these. I want to protect my knees. And then lastly, or for my feet. And for my feet, I have some shoes and socks. So I have an extra set of the Smart Wool Hiking Ultralight Crew Socks. And then also, uh, th these are made by Merrill. These are the Merrill Moab Ventilator Cross Training Shoes. And those are all the items from my Bug Out Loadout Clothes. That's going to do it for this Urban Bug Out Bag video project. It's kind of sad that it's coming to an end. I've been working on it now for 20 months, and it's been a long journey. It's been fun at times, it's also been frustrating, and it's kind of been the whole baseline of my entire YouTube channel. I've done a lot of product reviews on a lot of the items that you've seen here, and there's so many people to thank that I've collaborated with during this entire process. I'm going to have to do that in a future video because it'd be too long for this video series. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching my Urban Bug Out Bag. I'm going to call this version 2.0 because there's still a lot of revisions I want to do to it. I'm never going to be satisfied with my bug out bag, so I'm going to be going through revisions 2.1, 2.2, things like that, but this at least provides me with a stopping point. There are a lot of things I'd like to change with this already. For example, I didn't meet my goal weight. My goal weight was between 30 and 35 pounds. This one weighs in at 43 pounds, so it's a little bit heavy. I need it to shed about 8 pounds. And I know that I could change things like maybe getting a lighter knife, uh, making some revisions to the shelter compartment, but they say your bug out bag should be no more than 25% of your body weight, and I I weigh 235s, and this, since this weighs about 43 pounds, we're looking at more like 20% of my body weight. I'd like to get it down to around 15%, but that'll be for a future video series. For now, this is the stopping point of my Urban Bug Out Bag video project. Thank you for everyone that's followed along with me for almost two years now as I've been creating this project, and I hope that you enjoyed the ride. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video series featuring my Urban Bug Out Bag. For those of you interested, you can download the PDF document in the link provided in the description box, and also feel free to leave any kind of comments below in the comments section. Talk to you guys later. See ya!